Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. Let us solve today's DC using C programming language. The program must accept an time t in the format har minute and seconds and integer x where x is the seconds to be added the program must print the new time after adding x seconds in the same format. So the program must accept time t in the format hour, minute, second and integer x is the seconds to be added the program must print the new time after adding x seconds in the same format now let us consider for our test case this is our given time t and integer x which is seconds to be added So let us write our time separately har which is equal to 2 minute which is equal to 58 and seconds which is 45. Now first we have to add our x seconds to the seconds. So 45 plus 15 which is nothing but 60. So after adding the x seconds, we have to take modulo for the second. So 60 modulo 60. And in the minutes, so 60 modulo 60, which is zero. So in the minutes, we have to add 58 plus total seconds divided by 60. So 60 divided by 60. So 60 by 60 is 1 which will be added with 58. So seconds will be updated as 0. Seconds will become 0 and 60 by 60 is 1. So 58 plus 1 is 59 and in the minute we have to take 59 modulo 60 and in the hash we have to add total hash divided by 60 that is 59 divided by 60 59 modulo 60 is 59 so minutes will be updated as 59 59 bar 60 is 0 so our total timing is 2 hours and 59 minutes so this will be printed as our output now let us consider for our next test case in this test case, the time t and integer x is given. So let us write it separately. Har, which is equal to 23 minutes, which is equal to 59. And seconds, which is given as 20. So first let us add x seconds to the second. So 124 plus 20 which is equal to 148 so in the seconds first we have to calculate seconds modulo 60 so 148 modulo 60 and in the minutes we have to divide it by 60 so 148 modulo 60 
sorry, in the seconds we are adding 20 plus 124. So 20 plus 124 is 144. So 144. Here 144 divided by 60. You have to calculate 144 modulo 60. So 144 modulo 60 is 24. And 144 divided by 60 is 2. So we have to add it, it with minutes. So 61. So we have to calculate 61 modulo 60 in the minutes and in the hours plus 61 divided by 60. So 61 modulo 60 will be 1 and 61 bar 60 is also 1. So R will be updated as 24. So 24 cannot be printed. So you have to take 24 modulo 24. So R will be updated as 0. So our total timing is 0 hours, 1 minute, 24 seconds. So this will be printed as our output. We have to add seconds plus 60 sorry plus x modulo 60 2 seconds let us have it as update and we have to update minutes to minutes plus seconds divided by 60 modulo 60 and we have to update hover to hover plus minute divided by 60 modulo 24 so this is our logic now let us solve this problem using C programming language this is the predefined codes so here we are having the main function we are having a structure here containing integers hours minutes seconds and in the main function we are having a structure pointer pointing to the structure which allocates the size and we are getting the time as input from the user and integer x the seconds to be added and here we are having an another structure pointer pointing to the function called add seconds with argument given time and x seconds and finally we are printing the old time and a new time so inside this pointer now let us we have to create memory so let us copy this you have to create memory in this pointer so let us copy and paste it here and instead of time we have to paste a new name new time so new time of seconds ss new time of seconds which is equal to from time you have to take the seconds so time of seconds plus x the seconds to be added modulo 60 this is our updated second so we are adding x seconds and taking modulo 60 because seconds cannot exceed 60 and new time of minutes which is equal to time of minutes plus you have to copy and paste the whole updated second and instead of modulo change it as divided by 60 so here new time of minutes plus time of seconds plus x divided by 60 so for whole minute we are taking modulo 60 because minute also cannot exceed 60 and new time of hover which is equal to 
new time of sorry we have to write here time because we are getting from the time so time of minutes plus time of seconds plus x divided by 60 modulo 60 and here also time of hours and we have to write the time of hours plus the whole updated minute so we will just copy and paste it let us copy fully and paste it here instead of modulo let us change it as divided by and the whole modulo by 24 so because hours cannot exceed 24 so this is our updated hour finally we have to return the new time so new time return new time so new time will be returned and it will be printed so now we are getting the time from the we are getting seconds from the time adding it with x and modulo 60 which gives our updated second and instead of modulo we are writing divided by 60 and adding with minutes and whole modulo 60 and for seconds we are adding the hours sorry for hours we are adding the hours plus updated minutes divided by 60 modulo 24 because hours cannot exceed 24 and finally we are returning the new time this is the required code